wizards, witches and muggles. Welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all doing really well. So today is another magical unboxing. That's right, today I'm going to be opening the Gobstone Alley box from June. Now this flying parcel is a little bit late because their owls were sadly delayed, which is why we're opening it in almost the middle of July, but it's absolutely fine. This is one of my favorite boxes to unbox because of the amount of items that you get in here. A lot of them are handmade and unique, and yeah, it's one of my favorites, I must admit. Now, if you would like to get your own flying parcel and open along with me every single month, I do have a discount code for you guys. This isn't sponsored, I simply get the boxes for free, but I do have a code for you, which is Magical Family. So if you'd like to get your own, you can use that. And if you're brand new to my channel, hello, welcome, don't forget to click the subscribe button if you'd like to become part of our weird magical online family but let's go because it feels quite heavy and heavy magical boxes excite me a lot okay so let's have a look at june's flying parcel by Goldstone alley now you know what the box looks like by now it's just a simple brown box with some print on let's just open it on up and there you go we have the colored tissue paper which represents your hogwarts house i'm a gryffindor so let's have an initial sneak peek there you go there is clearly a wearable t-shirt on top. All right, let's get the t-shirt out of the way first. So it is black. I'm gonna show you the design first. Oh, it's Hedwig. Hi, Hedwig. Don't count your owls before they are delivered, <laughs> which is quite appropriate because this box was late. I did not count my owls. So yeah, this is Hedwig. This is a really unusual design, actually. It doesn't scream Harry Potter to me apart from Hedwig, but the rest of the design definitely seems quite unusual. I quite like the colors of it though. Am I going to wear this one a lot? Probably not, but I do like it. I love that there's an owl on there. I like the quote, but personally, it's not a design that is grabbing me that much. Either way, these shirts are very, very soft. I love the Gobsonani t-shirts because they're very good quality. But yeah, that's not a good start for me personally, but there are loads of people that would like this. I'll probably keep this to give away in a giveaway. Okay, I'm gonna have a look at the candle next and they've still got this great recyclable packaging and this, oh, lovely, 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 lovely. They always get their candles so right. This is the end of year feast. Oh, it looks delicious. It actually looks like a strawberry cheesecake. So this is the candle which is made by Incendio Candles. You get one of these in every single of the Gobstone Alley boxes. And yeah, let's have a look inside. Oh, it's, oh my God. That genuinely smells like strawberry cheesecake. I want to eat it. This is ridiculous. It even has a white bit of candle and then you've got the strawberry layer on the top that is delicious it also has some sprinkles on top which i'm not sure what it is is it little chocolate or coffee oh but it smells really good there's even a strawberry cheesecake on the label and mm, that might be one of my favorite candles that we've had so far the end of year feast, that's such a lovely candle. It's a really nice concept too. The next thing in here, I'm gonna open this. This is really intriguing me because it's it's packed quite securely. I love what they're doing. They've completely got rid of bubble wrap, which is good. What are you? So it's something that's wrapped in tissue paper. Do, 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 do. Ooh. <gasps> now I will say, Thank you for packing this in a plastic seal sealed packet because sadly this has leaked a little bit in transit, but it's Flourish and Blots ink. So if you have a real quill, you can use it. I don't really want to get ink on my fingers, but I'm gonna risk it for you guys just so that I can show you the actual bottle. So here you go. It is a bottle of ink which is Flourish and Blots branded. It's really pretty. It's blue. I'm definitely going to clean this up so that I can use it. As you can see, it has leaked a little bit, but I love the idea behind it. I sadly don't have a quill yet that I could use with this, but it's a really good to have because I, I will end up getting one of those quills. So really pleased with that. And it will also look good with 
the potions and stuff on my shelf. So yes, another unique piece from Goffstone Alley. The next thing is their tea. Now the Cozy Elves Magical Drinks and Sweets tea you get in every single month's box. And this is Cho Chang's Summer Tea. And these are resealable. So I'm gonna open it on up so that I can have a little smell and see what it looks like. These are some of the most beautiful teas I've ever smelt and seen. Mmm, this is a very interesting one. Oh, look at this. There is a piece of, it's either orange or lemon, but yeah, it has chunks of things in there. So this one looks quite green and it's got some fruit in there. So this is, I'll read you the ingredients. Sencha, I'm not so sure what that is. Lemon, mango, mint, blackcurrant leaves, lemongrass and aroma. And yeah, they're loose leaf teas. I've got quite the collection of these at the moment. They're definitely kind of taking over my tea and coffee cupboard, but I really do like these. I really need to start using them because they are beautiful and they're all really unique. I love the ideas and the thought that goes into these. Again, one of my favorite things that are in these boxes and you get them every single month. Okay, what else could be in here? So, oh, we have another mystery item, which is again, very well wrapped, which is making me think, is this fragile? Is it a potion or a bottle? Who knows? I really like this stuff, it's really weird. Okay, I think it might be a potion. Let's have a look. So I'm just unraveling, what could it be? <gasps> Ooh. Oh my God, that is so cool. This is a Wolfsbane potion and it even has a wax kind of seal on the top, which is great because <laughs> it shows that it's not drinkable and it's definitely a prop slash display piece. So yeah, it says eases the symptoms of lycanthropy, drink once per day leading up to the full moon. So I'm guessing this is what Snape used to make for Lupin, but I really, really love this. Yes, this is brilliant. This is another wonderful piece to add to my potions collection. I really, really like that. Great job, guys. My favorite thing so far, love it. I've just taken out some of the wiggly cardboard packaging and as you can see, we have quite a few more things left. So, oh, let's have a look at this. This is intriguing me. <gasps> it's bunting and it's in my Hogwarts house colors. <gasps> This is beautiful. I don't want to fully unravel it, but it's Gryffindor and Deathly Hallows bunting in my house colors. Oh, I love bunting. I really want to keep this. I'm not gonna put it up in my room, but I'm definitely gonna keep it. That's really nice. It's great quality as well. It's actually material, so it's not made out of paper or anything really cheap. It's really, really nice quality bunting. I'm happy with that. This is a great box so far. I'm absolutely, <gasps> okay. I've just seen something that has thrilled me, and I'm gonna show you next. <laughs> okay, so, in fact, I'm not sure which one I should show you first. I feel like I need to open this one first for the next thing to make sense, because I think this is something very special. So I'm trying not to kind of like tear it open, but I'm gonna do that with the top. Oh, I hope I haven't broken anything. Okay, is this what I think it is? Oh! <gasps> Oh my goodness gracious me. Are you, what? This is the fanciest quill. I was just saying, I don't have a quill to use that ink with. And of course it makes sense for them to provide one. This is the fanciest quill I've ever seen. It's not a biro. It actually has the little tips to dick, to dick. <laughs> to dip into the ink. <laughs> so this is a black quilt and it's stunning. Now the reason I wanted to, that is so beautiful. Sorry, I can't get over this. Look at it. I love the detailing around it. I love that it's black as well. <gasps> Am I gonna write with anything else? Probably not. So that brings me on to the next thing which actually goes with this. And this is the Feather Pen Nib Set, the writing collection. And there are one, two, three, four, five separate nibs in different diameters. So you've got a really thick one and it goes to thin. I am kind of speechless about this. What a wonderful thing to receive in one of these magical boxes. This is beautiful. I can't, I can't even, I, yeah, I'm, I'm quite speechless about it. It goes with the ink. I am going to have so much fun 
playing with this because I always wanted a calligraphy set growing up and I have one and now it's magical and it's just beautiful. Holy crap. Sorry. Beautiful. I love this. This is the best thing in the box so far. It keeps on giving. This, this is the box that keeps on giving and we still have loads more stuff in here. Calm down. Breathe a little bit. <laughs> okay, so we have a coaster, which is a Gryffindor coaster. You will, of course, get your own Hogwarts house one. This is really nice. It's a cork base. It's nice on top. I will probably keep that in my kitchen. Can't have enough coasters. I seem to have got quite a few coasters lately that are Harry Potter themed, which is quite funny. We've also got our chocolate frog card. And this month we have got Remus Lupin. Oh yes, he's definitely one of my favorite professors. And obviously it has all of the information for him on the back. I really love Remus. Oh, it's so cute. I'm getting quite the collection of these now. You get one of those in every single box. What else do we have in here? Oh, okay. We have a fridge magnet. I think it's a magnet. And it just it's a Hogwarts crest magnet. This will look really lovely on my fridge. Oh yeah, it says here, magnet. Yeah, it's a really nice size. I guess you could put that on other things that aren't a fridge. Anything that's metal, you could put it on a radiator. Really cool. That's quite a nice one, actually. And there are still things. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about these. Now they've actually started packaging these in little envelopes. If you remember from some of the previous Gobstone Alley unboxings, these always used to be wrapped with string and brown paper which made it feel really magical but I guess this is fine it makes it easier for them that you get them in a little envelope now these are the Harry Potter trading cards and yes I've begun a collection so which ones have I got today I've got troll bogies pulling up doxy weakness potion flipendo vanish and a lesson card so those will go with my other ones I really do enjoy that they're in their individual plastic packets to keep them all nice. I do like that, especially if you're a collector, you don't want to get fingerprints on them and stuff. I'm probably not going to play the actual game, but yeah, and that leaves us with, I believe one more thing. Okay, so we actually have a pin badge. This is licensed and it's simply a really nice Hogwarts crest in black and white. These are really, really nice. I do like the pins that they've started putting in these boxes. I've never seen this one before. I quite like that the Hogwarts crest isn't colored. Black and white is something that goes with everything. There you go, you can see it a little bit better now because I find that if you've got all four colors, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm just being very particular, but I, I like that it's black and white, is what I'm trying to say. So that was the last thing, and of course, in the bottom of the box, you get a sheet of paper which tells you all of the things that you have in your flying parcel. So this is number six from this year, because we are in the sixth month. Well, we're in the seventh month now. And we got 13 items this month. Holy moly, they have upped their game even more. So yes, we got the t-shirt, which is a fair trade t-shirt with a custom print. And Creature says you better don't wash it above 50 degrees. I won't, don't you worry, Creature. Yeah, so we have a black swan quill, apparently. I kind of hope that this isn't really from a real swan. If you didn't know, in England, in fact, I think in a few other places as well, it's actually illegal to hurt or harm a swan because they all belong to the queen. The queen owns all of the swans and it's a criminal offense to hurt them. But yeah, I mean, still very nice let's not lie the candle strawberries and cakes that remind us of the end of year feast everything else is on there um, a, set, a set of calligraphy quilt nibs they can be handy with your ancient runes and sky maps i like that a house themed coaster it will protect your desk harry potter trading card games a remus lupin chocolate frog card cozy elf tea bloody blah, blah blah everything on there we have looked at and yeah i'm so pleased I am probably going to struggle picking a favorite because I actually have four favorites from this box. I think coming number one is the quill. 
because it's absolutely beautiful. And then the ink as well that goes with this. I also really love the potion from this month and I really enjoyed the candle scent. I'm not sure that the candle is often my favorite, but this month it is, but this has stolen the show. Now, of course, those are just my opinions. I would love to know what your favorites are. Leave a comment down below and I will read and reply to as many as possible. But yeah, I would love to know, do you think this is one of the strongest boxes yet? What was your favorite thing? What was your least favorite thing? My least favorite thing was sadly the t-shirt, but that's fine because obviously I get quite a lot of Harry Potter t-shirts. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. I, wow, this was a strong box and this is getting me very, very excited for the Godstone Alley Anniversary Edition, which should be arriving fairly soon. They have had delays with their owls with that one too, but that's absolutely fine because I've had this one to keep me busy, but it should be arriving soon. They've just had a few manufacturing delays, so it's definitely not their fault. I don't blame them at all, but it just gives us some more things to look forward to. So keep your eyes peeled soon for the anniversary edition of Gobstone Alley because they had their birthday recently. And yeah, ah, oh, what a lovely box. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video very, very soon. Bye guys.